What a day traveling on Skidoo. Look at this. And uh, I had a car late last night, and now I'm on my way to Narkovic and hoping to get a polar bear license signed over before dark. And I'll be polar bear hunting tomorrow morning. So I got, I got, I was getting ready last night and early this morning. Put the uh, screws and stock gear on the truck, drove the Northwest River, and away I goes. This is gonna be super. Somebody lost your chainsaw. Well, guys, I'm in McCovic. Uh, got the paperwork done, and we're getting ready. We're going over to Turnovix now to have a little look and see what's on the go. Well, still much bit of time left in the day, so. Uh, so the hunt is officially started. It's the turnip exit deer is always a good place for beers. Got the gun on the back. We're getting serious now. Oh, that's fairly first track, beer tracks. That's fear size on tuna. Look at that. Tracks on down through there. Now, this is the beers that come down here. Nobody turned around here. Turned around, went back. There. A big bear come on down through here. He didn't really slid down there so far. He got on the east now, he's gone on north along that edge of uh, old rough ice. Oh, there's an old bear slid down. Oh, look at that. Slid on down here. Back up to here now. Try to get back up to the skidoo. God, that's slippery. Well, now we got some uh, weather uh, moving in tomorrow and Monday. Hopefully, it don't be too too bad. We'll keep plugging at it. That's for sure. Well, I see beer tracks over here on that point. The belly cutters there. That's when they start building that way. Look. So they spend a bit of time there. Looks like some bear tracks uh, where? Out there on that piece of ice out there and uh, some on the corner of piece on over that way. Looks like a bit of old already here sign there. There's some bear tracks there. See, there's some older tracks here. There's some old beer tracks there. Uh, beer. Walk the line here. Run up over the hills there. I got a polar bear hit. I got the beer, but uh, I just got to wait a little bit. I was walking through the line looking at some old sign and we looked up on the top of the hill, it looked like it was fresh sign. And when I looked the freaking beer was like re really straight up above me. I was like, yeah, far right in there. So I walked this way, about 20 or so feet, and then I got a chance I fired at him and he started to slide and come down over the hill. I just, you know, I still stopped waiting for him to stop and shoot again. I started to run this way towards the skidoo until he went down behind a rock. I got enough distance on that I knew then I'd be able to get a, another good shot at and if he made the charge for me. And, uh, oh my God, I just gotta, I gotta wait a little while before it goes over there. Whew. Gonna have a nice rug for the house. We're gonna share a lot of meat and keep some meat. Having the big barbecue. I'm gonna 
like heat the skull. The use of like the old timers used to for forecasting the weather. You know, <coughs> keep a couple of bones as well. Holy freak! When I looked up, he was straight up, straight up over there. I'll show you later on once when he gets over there, where he was too, and where I first seen him. And I couldn't fire because I was afraid of a fire. He just slid right down on top of me. Oh, it was crazy. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Oh, oh. Well, I'll tell you now, when I walked up through there, there's a lot of beer sign back there. And when I come up through, there's all old sign here. And now that up there actually looks fresher. That could be from the one I killed. I'm not sure now. I thought that might have been uh, some of that sign from yesterday, but it looks like it's too fresh for that. And there's some older sign down lying here. <laughs> so I lie down there and I said, waiting for heat and make sure he's dead late and die. And, uh, I said, man, you gotta have the eyes and baggy hit here too, because there's more than that one around here for sure. So I parked the skidoo there. My footprints here. Yeah, the bear I was walking along the side of that bank that way, and I was coming down this way. And when I looked up, the bear was up there. And you can see, then he started to go up over the hill, and I fired. And that's where he slid right on down there. And uh, you know, I, I thought it was bigger than what he was. He's not a real big bear, but I'm happy. Uh, and should be a good eater as well, so that's a bonus. So I'm gonna turn around now and uh, I'm getting on the comedic myself. <laughs> Yeah, slid right on down over the bank right here by this rock. Yeah, I gotta get this back and we're gonna get the gut out of him right away. And uh, here was going that way. I was coming this way. And this is where <laughs> we met. Down. Anyway, I'll get the beer hauled out here and uh, whew, warm now. It's getting the lash on the combatic. Can <coughs> get back out of it. Get the pelt oven and clean up the meat. Yes, sir. Gonna be good. Day, what a day. I'll never forget it. Ready to go here now. I tell you, I got a sweat broke. I'm gonna mark this spot on my GPS. Just, uh, you know, I know it's was two anyway, but uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Wonderful spot. Bears are just coming in off this ice, crossing over this island, getting on the ice on the other side and traveling on. And, you know, you're here at the right time, and that's, that means a lot. The, the timing gotta be right on it. Yeah, tree passed through here yesterday, so but it worked it today. You know, uh, I wouldn't mind if it was a bit bigger, but I tell you, I ain't complaining either. So <laughs> happy hunter, no doubt. Gonna be a happy family when you get the news too. Just gonna take me time now and uh, not real far from Rakovic there and I can go too fast and come off the comedy can only make it slow you down and make it harder so <coughs>
stop here to uh, bin Skull, just to make sure he's uh, secured good. Oh yeah. Beer steaks for supper. Wash down with beer. Not fat on. We got pelted off there now and just getting as much blood out of as we could here with the snow and that. Now, <coughs> now we're gonna butcher it up for some beer steaks. Whew, and some liquid beer tonight too. Getting ready to head back there now. We got the samples, bit of polar bear fat, bit of the muscle, and the skin and fur. So this will drop them off, off tomorrow. On the way back there now. I seen a porcupine cutting, so I branched off the trail and look. Sawing deer, porcupine cutting there. I'm over that way. Over there. I'm over that way there. I don't want to fool around too much, I got kind of a heavy load. It gets stuck. Going up there a bit. Huh. Porcupine cutting through everywhere, but it's near a track. It's kind of. See? Oh my. Can't be too too far from here. Some cuttings over this way. I won't look over this way. Oh, don't even need snowshoes on. Oh, Martin tracks, whole Martin tracks. If I pick up on a porcupine foot now, man, what a day this would be. I see a lot of cuttings over this way. There's a lot of trees. track right there. So swing up this way. Yeah. There's a rabbit footing over there, I made sure. Northwest River. Going to get the screw in the truck and get my gear straightened away. So, uh, so I guess that'll be it for this trip, and uh, also that'll be it for this video. So, I really appreciate y'all watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and hope to see y'all on the next one. All the best on the big man. <laughs>